Hi folks, I would love some SolidWorks help because I'm guessing this is doable. So we want to make a set of soft jaws here that have Mickey Mouse ears in all four corners. And the way I've done it is the two soft jaws are separate uh, sketches and extrudes in SolidWorks as you see here. So normally the way I would do this, and I'd love to hear if there's a better way, but I would insert two planes. So I'll do one between these two faces and then I'll do the same between that face and that face. Now the mirror will work fine across oops, this plane. And I'm, sh I'm sure that's because it is able to mirror sketch geometry across the same sort of part. But what doesn't work is if I want to mirror it to this other extruded sketched part. It gives me that error. Um, I was actually able to force it to work with a putting a point at the center here and then doing a circular pattern around here, but that's not the way to do it. It would only work it just if it's square. Um, so I would love to hear what am I missing or how does that work. Um, the other thing I would love to know is, is how you guys recommend calculating Mickey Mouse ears. That's if you don't know so that we can drop a square shape in here. Obviously you can't machine square corners so I'll, I'll walk through um, how I've done it in the past, which is create a sketch on this plane, and then if I'm going to use a 1 8 inch end mill, I'm going to create a line between these two, um, tangent to these two corners, and I'm going to dimension it to say 0.19. That gives me a little bit of cushion over a 0.1875 tool. Um, another SOLIDWORKS question I'd love to know, embarrassing, but how can I set these two equal? So that's about, the math works out so that these are about equal, but there must be a formulaic way in SOLIDWORKS to set them to be equal. I'd love to know that. Um, oops, why won't that work? Boom. You can see they're, you know, only a few thou off. And then what I do, basically I know that this cord, what will be a cord, will let me get the tool through there. I'll then do a circle tool on the center of this, uh, on this plane. Oops. On this. Sorry, I should be on that sketch. There we go. On the center there. And I'm actually going to make it a little bit bigger, say, 0.191 and that will if you scroll in mean you're just a hair past that corner you could come even a little tighter if you wanted to and do a extrude cut up to surface pick that face so that works but I'm curious if there's a better way to do it and then I don't know again how to get these mirrored across the four would love some uh, feedback or help thanks folks